Oh, this one's really heavy. iPhone 8 plus 64 gigabyte. You ready? Oh, look at all these phones. Somebody's arrested. He made out. Good. So let's start pulling stuff out, see what we get into. First one. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, that's worth 150, right? Gross. We got, let's see, dishware, but. Ooh, McDonald's sauce, honey mustard, my favorite. Uh, Taiwan, don't see a brand name on it. This one does have something on it, let's see what that is. Check it out. JR squared? <laughs> Not sure. And we even got leaves. Bay leaves. <laughs> that looks like somebody straight to someone outside picked it off their tree and put it in there and called it a seasoning. So that, what do we have here? Ooh, fig butter. What is fig butter? You ever heard of that? Butter made from figs. What's fig? It's all I sugar. No Look idea. at that. It's all sugar. It's no fat. What kind of butter is no fat, all sugar? Fat butter. And sea salt. So yeah, the first box doesn't look too interesting. Let's pull out the next one. Let's pull out the basket now. Let's see if there's anything other than clothes in here. I hope so. Yeah, I see a mirror. Might just be a makeup mirror though. Look at that. How you look? Can you see yourself? I probably, no, I can't see myself. I probably look horrible. Why? I don't feel too good right now. Oh, you're sick. Hope you don't have <laughs> strep. But you're still, you're looking good. Thank you. <laughs> You want to play with this? Sure. Uh, we have, uh, that's somebody's name on it. So oh, that'll let us look up the storage unit owner's name too. Oh, look at that old phone. Mm, Galaxy? Uh, Kinda. Yeah. More tie-dye, I guess. Yeah, and the rest of it, unfortunately, does look like clothes. If we see any good brand names or things like that, we'll show you in the recap, but I don't want to bore you with a bunch of clothes. Let's go to the next thing. Let's pull out this box. Not much in it, but maybe something of value. So the first thing, we'll see the hair straightener. Uh, Remington. Now, all I know Remington for is guns. So you women out there, you gotta let me know. Is this a good brand? Worth anything? Or junk? We have bras. Great. And we have makeup, it looks like. What else do we have? More makeup. Ooh. A little wallet, but it still has a tag on it. Let's see how much that costs. Doesn't say. Don't you love that? But hey, there's something in it. One little secret piece of paper. It's a love note. Uh, I can't show this. You have to get 2,000 likes. Maybe. <laughs> maybe we'll read their love note. That'd be kind of messed up, but if you guys get 2,000 likes, we might. If enough of you want to read it. Other than that, it doesn't look too great. So makeup, let's put this one over here and let me pull out another one really quick. Let's do, I do the giant foot or shoe holder thing. Yeah. They got it attached to the unit. Let's just go through it right here. So first thing we have, ooh, I see an iPhone box. This makeup, Galaxy check, is this more makeup? It is. What's in here? It feels like a little bit of weight to it. Open. Uh, I don't see a phone though. Uh, nope. But it'll go in our iPhone box. Buy, get in, find enough of iPhone boxes, lot them up, and people will buy them on eBay. We have, I guess these are for putting makeup on, right? I uh, guess. They look like, yeah, they're just ear cleaners. Oh, they're Q-tips. I never seen black ones. Q-tips. What's this? It's gum. Let's make sure that's what it is. No, it's pure gold. Yeah, it's pure gold. You see it, right, guys? Pure gold or miner's gold, but no, it's just gum. Oh, we have fruit punch, pure distill, makeup, and makeup. This one's from Sephora, though, so that stuff can get expensive. Let's put this stuff right here. Next little shelf. What is that? Let's see. Sephora again. So this is going to be some type of makeup, I'm sure. Whole bunch of makeup. Look at that. Or brushes, not makeup itself. Then, ooh, this is heavy. Is that makeup too? Jeez, we have a lot of money here in makeup, maybe. I'm we're completely relying on you guys because I know nothing about makeup. Uh, let's see, just more clothes. Oh, this is going to be makeup, isn't it? See, when I bid on this, this looked like a tablet to me. But this is, yep, it's going to be makeup again. 
Okay, let's hope it's some high-end stuff. Clothes, clothes, and more clothes. So, nothing else on here but a bunch of makeup and an iPhone box. So let's get that in a van and go through something next. So, let's look at this yellow bag right here. Think it's more makeup? Ooh, whatever it is, it's seen better days. We have like a tumbler. Nothing in there. Stop texting me, people. You heard that phone go off. <laughs> and we have nothing. What about this side? Also nothing. So I think this thing's pretty useless. I don't think anyone's gonna buy that in that kind of condition. Maybe like a dollar at the flea market if somebody is desperate, but other than that, it's probably nothing. Let's bring this box right here out to the van because this is the reason we bought the unit. Let's see if our gamble paid off here. First, let's see what's in the bag. What kind of what brand is that? LNG! Like, oh, that's bad words. Mm. What's Ooh. in here? What is that? Look at the logo, it's a C. Whatever it is, is new. This is the paper that goes in the purse. I wonder what brand that is. I just know nothing about this kind of stuff. Look, there's the strap and everything to it. Brand spanking new. Anything else anywhere else on this? Oh, look, let's see. White, medium. Oh, is it Coach? It's not Coach, is it? No. What I else starts with a C? So. Like, it probably was a gift somebody got, and they always snip the price tags. But we have white, white, medium. That's all it says. Let's see if it's strapped and everything now. Looks like it should. So that could be worth something, hopefully. Then we have, is that an actual army bag? No, Airwalk, it's just a style thingy. With nothing in it. What is this? It's part of a blender. A lease? What are these is the real question. Yeah. So, should I have to wear this for the rest of the video? Yeah, I mean, you put you in your Halloween spirit. <sighs> Since I never found a tattoo, I promised I would wear. We never found them again. We'll wear this for the rest of the video and act normal. Does it look good? Yeah. I'm cool. Let's keep going. Oh, it's falling off. My head's too big. We got spiders and teeth and Halloween thingies. Or should I wear this instead? Yeah, that'll stay on your feet. I hope so. My head's pretty big. Let's see. Let's see. Will it? Does this look beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> you look great. Yes. All right. Well, I guess it's time to assess the situation. This is why I bit. Look how thin that is. A laptop that thin is usually a good thing. Is that Type C too? Looks like Type C and HDMI. Are. See, Type C is good because it's newer. Pro Windows. So we have the model right here, model A260 NGW. Uh, and it's definitely Windows. Let's see what the sticker say. Look at this thing, California. I want it open. Other side. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's so thin. So we see the stickers are not there. It's an elite book, but it does have an Intel i5 processor, which is better than an i3. It's not cutting on, so we gotta hope we find a charger in here. Usually we do. Usually I don't find a laptop without the charger, but we're gonna set this aside, like over here, because that's the big money, hopefully. Are these like pet bulls? Yep. These are all we bought <laughs> when we got here, aren't they? Yep. And in case you're thirsty, there's a little bit of beautiful sweet tea for you. No, thank you. So, the rest of the box is pretty useless. I, I'm, I can't talk serious with this on. The rest of the box is useless, but the laptop could be worth a lot of money. We're gonna have to do some research into that. Fingers crossed, it is. So we also have one of these nice little things you set up by the chair. Usually older people can sit in their chair and eat. It's pretty dusty, but it's not like broke up or anything like that. So a nice Clorox wipe to that. We'll clean that off. That's a good five or 10 bucks. Let's see what else we can pull out. I want to know what's in the priority mailbox. We have a side view mirror. It's a car mirror. Let's get it out. Let's bring it out. Look. Look at that. I know these can't be that cheap, can they? I don't know. I don't even know what kind of car it goes to. If anyone knows what kind of car it goes to based on this, hope so. I'm not sure. It's a 2013 car, so it can't be that old. It's got to be worth a good amount, hopefully. Everything else in there is just paper, so let's put that back in here so it doesn't get damaged. But that and a laptop right now are probably where our money's at. So now we're going to pull this little box out. These kind of boxes always interest me because why would you get this over like a tote? You're trying to protect something. It's, I'm glad. Good thing it's unlocked. I don't know if that's good or bad. 
but it's not locked. Looks like a bunch of wires. Uh, it looks like a stand to a TV, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, a light bulb. Some Let's Glow face masks. This is some very random stuff. Oh, a scratch off. Did they win? Uh, what do you have to uncover? Uncover a money roll symbol? No, they didn't win. Why do people keep losing scratch off so much? I wonder where that was. Uh, the rest of it looks like a lot of nothing, guys. A lot of nothing. So, we'll just set that in there and pull something else out. So, we've got another bag here. Let's see what's in this one. Is this where the gold bars are hidden? All right. That's where the water bottles are hidden. And, uh, nothing. This thing, a drain wig? What is a drain wig? Patches hair. Oh. All right. Imagine if you actually wore that. Ew. Window cleaners. You don't wear it. I know, obviously. I'm just saying, imagine if you actually did. <laughs> what's this? Huh? What's going on here? Inappropriate stuff is what's going on here. But we did find, that's where the money was hidden. A whole two cents. Get at us, guys. Throw that aside, let's pull something else out. Let's bring out the basket with the bag and see if we got something else cool. Let's look in here first. This thing, what is that? What is this? Good question. Is that an old radio? AM, FM scan? It's from Radio Shack. Alright, cool, I guess. Is that the top to the blender? Another part to a blender, looks like, maybe. Yeah. And this is just a bag of bags. In here, it might just be all blankets, which animal shelters take as donations because most of these won't sell unless they're like handmade quilts so yeah that's probably just gonna be a donation to the animal shelter just a bunch of blankets but you know we'll probably keep the laundry basket because we only have one we we don't buy weird stuff because we're like we're gonna find it in units so we just wait to fill it up keep the laundry basket don't eat the blankets let's pull something else out so we're getting stuff out the way and it's just a never-ending horde of blankets these are all blankets which is cool because like we said these all go to the animal shelters. Have you ever find blankets in storage units? Just donate them to the shelter. Don't throw them out. Look at that. It's probably a good, I'd say like 15, 10, 15 blankets. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Now I think we can get under it. Let's see what else we got. Here is the whole thing we've been looking for. It's actually a Ninja blender too. These aren't pretty expensive if I remember correctly. So if we have all the pieces, which I'm pretty sure we do because we just keep finding pieces, that probably, Worth a good amount, wouldn't you think so? Yeah. So let's get this out of that part of it. Um, could be, that looks like a food processor. I think you put this on top of there. Oh, so it? it's, it's a blender or a food processor. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know if we'll stop that. I'm gonna have to keep this. <laughs> let's take this out to the van really quick and then pull something else out. All right, so we have some kitchen stuff and a gasoline canister over there, but let's see what we got here. There's just a pillow and blanket set that goes together. I don't know if it's solid, probably just donate it. Let's see what we got in this box. Pull this one out to the others too. Let's take a look. Let's be greedy. All right, let's see. Don't you guys like how we organize the van? Well, I mean, it's such a small unit that it's not really relevant right now. We should just close. Was oh, that our charger? I just got something in it. What do we have in there? Oh, look at that. I feel like we find one of these in every unit, don't we? Yep. A bong? Please be our laptop charger. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. Let's see, where's the head at? Cross your fingers, guys. Where's it going at? Right there, boom. There's the charger, so we'll be able to know if this works. I'm gonna set this somewhere right here. I'll move it after I finish going through this box. But I gotta ask a question. If you got a brand, why would you name it the sack? <laughs> well, out of everything, why would you name it the sack? That's just not right. But let's see what else we got in here. Uh, cards, US, little tiny charger. We have, I don't know what that is. Helping makeup. Let's see what else we have in here. Soda, grape soda thing. Picture of a dog. There's some change in here. <gasps> a quarter. Here's the money. Ugh, get out, get out get out so we have 37 cents living large over here living large let's go inside this sucker 
if I can get it open. So we got, what is that? More makeup? Yep. We'll put all the makeup together and it sells a huge lot. If somebody wants to buy it, message us. Oh, I see a nickel. I don't know what that was. That's a vape, isn't it? Yeah, it's two of them. Two vapes. Um, little beads and stuff. I feel something else in this side. There's like something there that I don't know how to get to. Oh, there's another pocket key here. That's why I look. What is it? Makeup. I'm so sick of makeup. All right, so let's put this over here. Did get a little bit more change. We got like 40 cents now. <laughs> but we're keeping all the change together until we get a whole thing full. Look at that, that's a pot at the top. That's kind of cool. It's definitely been used. What brand is that? If anyone knows, let us know. Royal Crown? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> I think Crown Royal. A nickel. We're making bank. And, oh no, this has something in it. I was about to say all closed, but I feel more than closed. Oh, this one's really heavy. This one's really heavy iPhone 8 plus 64 gigabyte. You ready? Please don't be makeup. I'm so nervous right now. Ooh, that's a Samsung. They trolled us. They look, it's got the earbuds though. Dang it. But are these the wireless ones? No, they're wired. But it's got the earbuds and we got some kind of Samsung phone. I don't doubt it'll cut on. No. But it could maybe have some value, not as much as I would would have been if it was that iPhone 8, but it's something, I guess. Set it over here at the laptop. What is that? Absolute extract. Vape crap. What is this? No, oh, I thought that was a phone. Glop drop. I don't even know. Um. So we got glasses. I need to type a designer. Doesn't look like it. Harry Potter wrist bracelet, ankle bracelet thing. Ah, uh, doesn't look like anything else in there of any interest. And the rest of this bag does appear to just be closed. So we'll set this aside. I'm gonna take the phone and the laptop, put it somewhere else, and then we're gonna pull something else out. So in the corner here, we have what looks like one of those water dispensers that you see in the office of like a doctor or something like that. Not really sure on a value on this. It's Energy Star. That'd be kind of cool to have in a house, you know. Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of convenient just to have it. So. It, depending on value, if it's like worth less than 50 bucks, we might just keep it. So let's get this big sucker in the van. And then I see a bunch of totes under these clothes that are full of all kinds of random stuff. So that should be fun. Let's get this moved. So we just moved the mountain of clothes and got to the first tote. Let's see how it looks. Is there anything in this? There is. What is it? It's People's OC California. Is it weed? Yeah. Enjoy. Oh yeah, this is their weed bag. Look at their lighter even. <laughs> so, that California sticker. More makeup. A uh, bunch of, who knows what, papers. Carotene, protein. This is a card. Ooh, Dale Earnhardt. Uh -oh. That dude's some money. I don't know if this particular card is, but it's in like one of those screw-in cases. You can't even get into it. Look at that. That could have some value, for real. So, just keep that here. What do we have here? Just more random stuff. What's in this big thing? Open. Oh, let's see. We got lucky last time. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? Oh. Oh. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, only, what, two out of probably 150 storage units or more, 150 to 200. Have we ever found money in a card? Two. Looks like happy birthday stuff. Not seeing much of anything else. Um, uh, glasses. Yeah, not much of anything else, though. We got this. This could have some value to it. We don't know, but the rest of that totes junk. But I think we have two more in there that look to be full of random stuff. Let's hope there's more money in them. Guys, I'm super excited about this tote, and we'll show you why. Let's get it over to the van first. Look at all these phone boxes here. We have no idea how much money we have. All right, so let's see what we got in the box. Ooh, look at all these phones. Let's look in the boxes first. Ooh, this is going to be a good day. It's smashed, but it's okay. People buy these for parts. So this is the... 
LG K20. That's one smartphone. So say on average these are five to ten dollars a piece for a smash phone because people buy them for parts. One. That's got one in it too. I feel it. Look at that. Samsung again. Maybe we'll find that iPhone. It's smashed, but cool. Two phones. We could have a hundred dollars in phones. Oh, that's a tablet. Check that out. A one-touch tablet. This is the same thing. We put them in the lots if we can't get them to work. So we'll count two phones, a tablet. I don't feel nothing in this one. This one feels light. Yeah, no phone there. That's got a phone. Remember this phone? Yep. That's what we used to have. They suck. They suck. Yep, yeah, that's the one, isn't it? No, it's not. That's it's a, a J3. ZTE. Yeah, well, it's a J3 anyway. I think we have a J7. Oh, yeah. Okay, so three phones in this thing so far. What is that? Some really. Uh, oh! Uh, okay, it's new. It's new. All the haters, you're the bag of these coming, just saying. <laughs> that, did that one have a phone? I forgot. No, oh, that was the empty one. Let's toss that one aside. LG Flex 2. Why does somebody have this many phones? Ooh. Look at that one. LG Flex. That's like three or four smartphones already. It's got a phone. Oh, look at that. That, looks, that one looks good in shape too. Batteries right there. That's good. Here's another phone. I'm just going to leave them in there at this point. Is that a vape? Looks like a vape cartridge. Um, I can't tell. This one's like in the middle. No, oh, maybe a phone. No, just instructions. So I'll throw this one aside. The phone, the boxes aren't really worth keeping unless it's Apple or some Samsung's. Samsung. Samsung. This is some type of smoke thing here. That's just a card, but look at this box here. How many phones do we have here? Oh no, these are cases. These aren't. There's an iPhone. This one's an iPhone. It's a little bit smashed. I don't know which one it is. Definitely looks older. But we're just going to leave the phones in here at this point because there's just so many. Some of these are the older models. Not worth a thing, probably. There. Is that a touch? Kinda. That's a flip, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Oh, one of these. I used to have one like these because I used to hate touch screen keyboards and my fingers are so big. Let's see what else we have in here. We got, oh, there's a phone in here. Look at this, another Samsung phone. The amount of phones we have is getting a little crazy. Oh, there's a camera. Ooh, we have the cool picks right there. The battery's not in it. That might be where one of the batteries go to. So a Nikon cool picks digital camera. Oh, there's the battery right here, actually. There's a couple batteries and a couple of memory cards in here. So that's good right there. That's even more money. All right. Let's see, anything else of value in here? Charger could go to any of the phones or the camera. Ooh. Please be real. Please be real. No, I don't see a marking. Please. Please. 14 karat. No way. That's 14 karat gold. <laughs> Ooh. This is the first like real gold piece of jewelry I found, I think. I'm, I'm legitly excited right now. That's got some good weight to it, I feel it. I mean, that's 14 karat. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Nice. This is our first piece of gold. Besides, like, the little FedEx things and, like, first gold, real gold jewelry. But usually we find silver. Oh, that is awesome. I don't even know the price of the gold. Oh, look. Little iPod shuffle in there, too. Nice. Put that in there. We'll definitely go through these totes, and the recap's going to be a good recap for this unit, guys. We got a lot of electronics, so. I bet you we have close to 15 to 20 smartphones. That's about 100 bucks there. We have the gold necklace right here, and then we have the laptop, which if we can get it to work, it's worth more. And luckily, since it's a Windows one, they're really easy to factory restore. So if we can get it to cut on, we'll basically sell it as restored, get a lot of money. We got one more tote, and after this in the phones, who knows what's in there? Let's get it. All right, guys, the last tote. I'm really excited right now. Oh, man, this is another thing. I think I know what my new theory on buying units are. This is the second time we just bought it because at the, it was the end of the day and we really didn't have one. The laptop was the only thing I saw. Last time we did it, we find a piece of art that's worth like $25,000. This time, we were finding gold, phones. Ugh, okay, let's, let's just get in here. I'm, gonna, I'm in a good mood. I smell food, that's not good. Another lottery ticket, stop keeping losers. Office of the attorney, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody who's arrested. We'll let you know in the recap. Makeup. Oh, I 
Oh, don't go. Never mind. Sorry. I'm a little jumpy now. We got this is Instamix camera. And we saw this last night for like $22, or something like that on eBay. So that's 20 bucks. Please be Type C. Is that Type C? I can't tell. No. Dang it. <gasps> Change. Change. Who's seen that episode of South Park? Change. Change. We got some earrings in here. You see it? Yep. Um, they don't appear to have marks. I don't know if earrings are marked like other jewelry though. I don't never wore an earring in my life. We do have some more change in here. I don't think this is gonna be silver. No, that's plastic. Oh, let's see. What is that? Um Cadillac stem caps for Cadillac. Ooh, that could be expensive. Car parts could be expensive. Officially a car is like a Cadillac. Makeup. Um, dog leash. Hey, it's a thing like from the movies where everybody's trying to hide their fact that they're drinking, but everybody has this, so it's obvious that you're drinking. Hey, look. $100 wine voucher. Maybe you get those in like packages. Yeah, I don't care anyway. None of us drink. So, nothing here. I'm going to set this aside right here. I want to go a little bit further. Let's see what's in there. Nothing. What is that? That's old looking, isn't it? Yeah. What is this? Jeez. It's old is what it is. In case you're hungry, top beef ramen. Other than that, there is a lot of things in here. I mean, not a lot, it might be like a buck. I see a quarter, a few dimes, a few pennies. But everything else in there doesn't look too interesting. So we'll load this up, but you guys know how it goes. We'll show you in the recap if there's anything else in there. I think there's one more box left in the unit and then we're done, but we made out good. So before we pull the last box out, we wanted to show you, we had this mirror here. And the reason I wanted to pull it out is because the back's like this. Usually if I see like this and this kind of hook, to me it usually means that it's older. So I'm not sure if it's like antique old or if it's just cheap or rebate or something like that. But you guys will know more than I will. So let me know in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the van and then pull out that last box. So we have the last box here. And the first thing that comes out is like a fur looking jacket. It's by Love Tree, but it says, oh, well, still might have some value. Let's see, mmm, delicious. This thing is like way too heavy to just be all closed unless it's like tightly packed which it looks like it might be okay they're wet that's why Ew. Ew. Mm, that's good smell of moldy clothes you know like when you go to the pool and you take the clothes off and then you throw them in the trunk and then you forget they're there and you open your trunk like a week later and you're like oh my gosh what died in here that's the vibe i'm getting right here yeah that box is all closed so guys we got probably 15 smartphones, a nice laptop, Ninja Blender, and 14 karat gold necklace, which I think that's pretty good for 150 bucks. What do you say? I think it's good. So we're gonna shut the van, get home, and then do a recap once we get everything organized. This unit was epic. All right, guys, let's do a recap on this epic little storage unit. Remember, we only paid 150 bucks for it, and well, let's just say it paid off very, very well. So let's start over here on the left side. The first thing we have is the Ninja Blender, and it looks to have, from what we've seen, if you guys own one or have owned one, let us know if I'm wrong here, but it seems to have all the pieces. I don't see a blade though, but apparently they're cheap and replaceable. The Ninja, let's get the exact name for you so you can look it up if you want yourself. It's the Auto IQ Nutra Ninja Blender System. When we looked these up on eBay, they were going for between $75 and $120 pre-owned, so that's probably over $200 brand new, and it comes with three, we're assuming these come with it, they're all marked Ninja. There's three of these, and then there's the little thing here, which looks like it's just a food processor. So that comes with it, which is pretty cool. So that's about, say 100 bucks or so. And the best thing, or not the best thing, one of the best things, which is pretty cool, is the huge lot of smartphones. I say this a lot in our videos, but you can lock these ones up like this is a LG Z something. No one's gonna buy that by itself, but when you lot a bunch of smartphones up on eBay, people buy them because the people that repair phones need parts and they can get a lot of them out of these. But we have one, oops, and I just dropped one, two, three, one iPhone, still a smartphone, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 
separate smartphones in one storage unit. Ten in one. Now we also had a bunch of older flip phones. I don't know about those. If anyone sells those, let us know if they're worth keeping. I would assume the same thing. Maybe you can lock them up. I'm not too sure. I never sold them myself. And we also got, don't forget the tablet that came with it too. We do the same things with the cheap tablets that aren't worth much. If you were to sell this by itself, you might get like five or 10 bucks, maybe. So we just lock them up with all the phones and we sell everything. We usually get like 100 to 150 bucks for about 20 phones, depending on models and things like that. We also found the little tiny, iPod right there. If I remember, I think these are the iPod Shuffles. You guys know I'm not an Apple person at all, so I'm not 100% sure, but it's really, really little. The thing I remember about these is they take a really weird charger that looks like an aux cable. So, kind of strange. Now, unfortunately, the Dale Earnhardt car we found in the case was only worth about $10. Oops, the smartphone tower fell down. <laughs> only worth about 10 bucks, so not as impressive as I thought it was gonna be. I knew like that his name. I've never watched NASCAR, I can't get into it at all, but I know that name. So when I that happens to me with another sport, I usually assume it's a good value. Unfortunately, only about 10 bucks. Now we also kept these. We looked these up. Maybe someone that's in the cars will let us know. But there's actually three packs of these. Uh, this, I'll read it directly to you. CZLP V4, four piece tire valve stem cap for Cadillacs. There's three of them. I can't find an exact match on eBay, so I don't know if they're really worth anything or not, but since they're new in the package, we decided to keep them. One of the best things we found, haven't got to weigh it yet, but we got the little gold necklace here. It's 14 karat gold. We have tested it, so it is real gold, but it's got a decent amount of weight to it. I don't know how many grams or anything. We usually throw the scales away because they usually have drug residue on them. Now I wish I kept one, but when we get it weighed out, I just don't know. I'm, I'm thinking it'll pay for the unit. I'm thinking it's about at least $150. But then again, this is the first piece of gold jewelry we've ever found in a storage unit. We found little pins twice, 150 plus storage units, first piece of real gold jewelry we've ever found. So I'm not really good with gold yet. We got the Instix Mini 8 camera here. Unfortunately, these are selling for about $22 to $25 shipped. So take six, seven off. You're gonna get about 15 bucks for this on eBay. Not a big deal, we haven't even tested it. So honestly, for 15 bucks, we might just flea market it. I don't know yet, because I don't know if it's worth 15 bucks. So we also have the Nikon Coolpix camera here. Unfortunately, it is not worth very much money. It's an older model and it's kind of outdated. So it's only from what we see in fetching about $10 on eBay. The batteries and everything are in there, but that's probably gonna be a flea market item because I don't think it's worth selling for a few bucks on eBay. It's not worth it. Then we also got the little bowl here. We set it aside because as we found in the last unit, some of these things would be worth a lot of money. This one's again is marked JR squared for you math people or JR with a little two in the top right. So maybe that's worth some money. And we also need a lot of help from the girls out here because we found a lot of makeup. These are all the palettes that were like pretty much brand new or almost brand new. So we have one here that says Tartlet. Uh, I have no idea guys. Obviously I'm not a makeup person. Tartlet, and then we have Lamora Nudes Exposed, and then we got Natasha, Denana, Diamond, and Blush. I don't know if I'm pulling out like five below brands or $100 palettes from Sephora or Ulta. I have no clue yet. Then we have Galaxy Chick here. We got two, or not only one, of the Crown 35 Color Rose Golden Eyeshadow Palettes. Then we have a Morph Palette. Then lastly, we got, what is this one? Tarte High Performance Naturals? I'm so clueless right now. Obviously, I have no idea what this stuff is. So you guys, please let me know that you're familiar with makeup. Let me know down in the comments if we got good brands or if it's just cheap stuff that's probably flea market. This, I just don't know what it is. It's just an old looking wallet and it has those three keys in it. Just a really weird, strange find. There's nothing in the unit that the keys could have gone to. So makes you wonder. That's why we set it aside because you just don't know. Now, this laptop, it was password locked because it was Windows and not Apple. Baby Jeebus was really easily able to do it. He actually refer, or, um, factory reset it. So it's already set back to new. It's good. It's got an i5 processor. It's running Windows 7. It's only got a 100 gig hard drive, but it does have eight gigs of RAM. When we look this up on eBay, some of them are selling as low as 180 and as high as about 320 bucks. So. We'll probably put it up for auction, start it at 100, see where it goes, but that's a good find that could potentially double the, what we spent on the unit. Good return on investment with one item. Now we also found 
but we didn't show in video because we didn't see them. These two Elvis signs. Now things like this, I never know if they're actually old or they're just made to look old like this. So if they're actually old, they could have some value, but if they're just remakes that are meant to look old, they're probably not worth all that much and they'd be more flea market items. But you know what? I just now noticed something. It's unfortunately marked 2000, 2005 on the back. So that means it's definitely a remake. So it's probably just gonna be like a little couple bucks at the flea market, nothing special. We also, let me set the laptop down because I almost knocked it down. Did you see that? Put it down right over here. Don't want that to get hurt because that's the best money maker. Unless the gold necklaces. I have no idea with gold. It's 14 karat if I didn't say. We got the little white purse here that's still new with tags. Still has the paper in it and everything. Like we said, brand spanking new. I don't know if this is coach or what. There's a giant C in it that we showed you in the video. That's all we have to go off because you know when people give gifts, they take the tags off and things like that. So I just don't know. There's a tag on the inside. Let's see if I can read it for you guys. Maybe you can help me out. It says man-made material. Thanks, that's helpful. And it just says CC pound hashtag, whatever you want to call it, 00141868 white medium. Not really sure what that's saying. That's all that's in there, but it's definitely brand new so if it is coach or something like that it's definitely some good value in that again because it's brand spanking new we also kept this cool looking ed hardy jacket it's a 3xl but ed hardy is a decently expensive brand not like overly overly expensive but a hoodie like this with the chains and everything and it's pretty much new it doesn't look like it's been worn there's no spots on it so 3x i'm guessing i'll pull at least 20 bucks on poshmark we also got jan sport bag they're not worth much resale. We usually get like five to ten dollars, but they sell consistently. People always buy these when we list them up on Poshmark because Jansport was a thing when I was in elementary school, and apparently it still is today in 2019. These bags are reliable. This this feels like there's something in here. Hold on a second. Oh, there's just sticky notes. I'll have to say, what if there's money in there? That would have been crazy. But Jansport bag. Then we also have the car mirror which we're still at 100% which vehicle it actually goes to. It says made in Japan, so maybe a Toyota. I'm not sure, but it looks to be a replaceable one. All the bolts and everything at the bottom are still in there, so somebody probably got theirs knocked off and ordered a replacement. Never happened to me before, so I don't know if it's expensive or it's a cheap fix. So again, if you guys know, let me know down in the comments. Lastly, this was supposed to go with the makeup, but I think I said it on the other side of the table because it wasn't a palette, but it's just a thing with a bunch of makeup brushes in it just like that so overall guys i think this unit was really good for 150 bucks so as we said before we usually sell about 18 to 20 smartphones for 100 bucks so we got about 50 60 dollars in uh, smartphones over there then we got the blender which could potentially sell for over 100 dollars and then we got the gold necklace which is still the question mark right now i don't know if this is going to be worth 150 or 80 or 400 I just I don't know I never found gold before so I'm kind of excited about this because it is my first real gold uh, jewelry find then we got all the makeup palettes here then we have that and of course the best thing of all the HP laptop this is the reason we've been on the unit pretty much right here and it paid off it's a pro windows HP elite folio 1040 g3 notebook PC I saw how thin it was and I saw it was all together. Thin is usually means newer and it has Windows 7, which even though it's an older OS now, it's still one of the most widely and most, most widely used, most popular uh, Windows operating systems. So I think that'll fetch probably around $200, 100 something there, close to it'll probably make four or 500 bucks off this $150 unit. And you know what? That's a good day in my book, guys. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for all awesome treasure hunting videos all the time. If you do want to follow us on our social media links, they're going to be right here on screen. Click the links down in the description below and make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.